Yo, what up, you two? It's Freddy back, man. A quick little update, man. On this video, this part two gonna be on how to modify the spender for the wheel wood adapter bracket. Um, just line up the holes. I do. We gotta retap the holes. But we'll get to that later. Just line up the holes. Kind of just put your mark. Put your mark your mark out like that and that's how much we're gonna cut off from there to there and that should be enough out the way for our bracket to sit down and for our uh, calibers to bolt to all we're doing is really cutting off the ears this is the old mountain ears for the old calibers we're just cutting that out the way pretty much that's all you're doing so i fade you back same concept just like on my brembro video for the G-Body, the same concept, the same concept work for Box Chevy, Donks, B-Bodies, same concept man, same, a lot of people do, oh we need B-Bodies videos, it's the same concept, just different spender, Box Chevy spender a little taller, different, same concept man, same concept, fade back over now, alright you two, we faded back, uh, got that cut off, with the old grinder, the cut off wheel. Set the bracket on so, like so. So you know it's out the way, nice and. And then when I use to do this little hump right here, I use to take my grinder, um, my grinder disc, and smooth off this little hump because when you, it kind of hit just a little bit with the bracket. So uh, that's it. Step one on preparing, uh, prepping a spinner for a modification for uh, wheel wood adapter bracket. Uh, fade back the next part. I'm gonna drill this hole out to a three eighths and come back and tap it with three eighths dash twenty four fine thread. Can't do sixteen. You got to do twenty four. That's fine thread. Fade back on uh, part two. Rolling. How are you two? We faded back, man. Got both of the spinners cut off, man. Nice and simple. I only use one dish. I didn't even use a full cut off dish. One dish to get the job done. Uh, now I'm about to drill it out. Drill a hole out. We'll put it in back in the pipe. Drill a hole out three eighths bit. And then I'll come back and tap it. Tap the threads with uh, focus, focus. Focus, they can't pick it up. Focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Focus. Uh, they can't pick it up, but this is 38 24. Not 16, 24. I fade back when I get the hole drilled out. Over. How you two? We fade back. Got the hole drilled out, 38. I fade back when I get the other one drilled out. I'll show you when I'm tapping over now. You too. Got the uh, thread cutter in there. Make sure it's straight. Uh, the little tool that you that it, I got for the spin it, it was hitting the shaft on the spinner, so keep it straight. Take your time. I use to spray a little solution down in every now and then. And that's it. Focus, focus, focus. Keep going to the bottom out, over and out. Fade it back. Got the um, got the spinners nice and painted up, nice and pretty. Uh, I sure can. I use some kind of chassis to paint in the router can from a marble freight. Works pretty good, man. I've been having good results with it. I still spray the spinners with it. Oh, uh, last part to this video. Of course, you know we got those holes tapped out. 3-8-24. Now you need to adapt both the adapter bracket up like this. That's part number right there. 250 12300. And you're gonna need I think the part number different on the instructions. You're gonna need these bracket spindle bolts. 230-10491. Fade back and make sure you put Loctite on the whole thread. I know most of the time people put Loctite just on the tip. Put Loctite on the whole thread. Cause this kit 
on my kits, um, I have a longer boat, and it's a fatter boat. This boat is just three eighths, and it's ain't number an inch long, man. So make sure you. I know the Loctite is expensive. Don't be stingy with the Loctite on this part, man, because I get a lot of guys. Boat came out from my kits. Did you put Loctite on it? No, nah, no, nah, I tarped it down tight. Gotta put Loctite on it, man. So make sure you smother these threads and Loctite. I fade back. So you're gonna use a T40. What's a T40? Uh, uh, hex star, whatever you want to call it. Um, both this bracket down, assemble the uh, rotors and the bearings. It's all gonna be a T40. So let me get this screwed down, fade back. To make this quick, just the uh, chassis paint I use, Harbor Freight, I think about six bucks, worked pretty good. It's the finished um, product, man. Uh, wheel wood modified spindles, G by the spindles modified for wheel wood bracket. Finished product, man. Came out nice, thing nice and smooth. I made sure I put a lot of Loctite on these bolts, even put some on the bottom of the head. You can see on one of them. It's squeezing out, man. So I got that lock tight on there, man. So uh that's about it, YouTube. Um appreciate everybody following this. Um I do guess I'll do another video uh just showing putting the road on, packing the bearings. Very simple, very simple. One thing with this wheel wood kit, it don't come with the castle nut, man. Don't come with the castle nut. Uh hold on YouTube. Yeah, don't come with the castle nut. I had to go buy some. Uh, this part number right here, AutoZone. Focus, focus. All right, that's 05193. It come with the flat washer, but it don't come with the, the castle nut or the pin or the carter pin. But I rather it, I rather it come with the carter pin and the castle and not this washer, man. But. So that's how they got it, man. So that's the YouTube starting to rain out here, man. Getting real nasty out here, man. Uh, that's it, YouTube. Uh, appreciate everybody checking this video out. Like, share, subscribe, man. Over and out.